or solve the following left to right will show how this is equal to that. So we need a common denominator, which is going to be one minus sine of x times one plus sine of x. So on the right, we'll have one plus sine of x because that's what one multiplied across it will equal. And then minus quantity one minus sine of x. And then when you combine these two here, we get difference of perfect squares, one minus sine squared x. Uh, distribute the minus on top, so one plus sine of x minus one plus sine of x over, and this is gonna convert into cosine squared of x, trig identity. The ones cancel off and we're left with two sine of x over cosine of x cosine of x, so it's cosine squared of x, but the reason I did that is you can see here, this is the tangent and then this is secant. So we have two, well down here we have two, tangent of x and then the secant of x, which matches up with what we have here. And that's our proof. Okay, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching this video and you have a fantastic day.